when we break something like that, we try to glue it, maybe fix it with tape, and you know, sometimes it works. Let's see if we can get this to glue back together. And sometimes it doesn't really work. Well, our bodies work the same way. Dr. Bill Johnson of Innovations Medical joins us to talk about an investigational study using our body's fix-it cells for hard-to-fix problems, kind of like the stick right here. Hi, Dr. J. Good morning. All right, let's talk about this. It's a hot topic, and it's a really cool one. What exactly are stem cells? Well, stem cells are the cells that we all grow from. So all the embryos as we grow are stem cells, and they end up becoming all the organs all the tissues in our bodies. Then once we're adults, anytime we need a new cell, it's a stem cell that produces the new cells as well. So stem cells are very important in healing, and one of the problems we have in some tissues is they just don't have a very good supply of stem cells, or stem cells can't get there to heal. Okay. So we're trying to harness that ability and deliver it to areas where we don't heal well. Okay, so talk about how stem cells work after we're born and how they enable the healing. Well, we've actually been using stem cells for about 30 years because bone marrow transplant came in in the in the 1980s for okay. patients with cancer and other problems and at that time we were just giving a lot of bone marrow cells we now know that what made those work were the stem cells within bone marrow okay. so stem cells therapy has been around for 30 years in the United States it's only now that we're starting to get it outside of very specific areas and we've learned that you don't have to go to the bone marrow you can do your own fat yep. because it's more readily available and there are actually more stem cells in fat than there are in bone marrow. Okay, that's that's what we really want to break down for GMT viewers today because you're using your own stem cells to put in other parts of your body that wouldn't necessarily be able to heal on their own. So talk about that whole harvesting from fat. Well, we're having a lot. We, we harvest a little bit of fat on liposuction. Mm -hmm. Do just do a small amount of liposuction. Do about uh, about three tablespoons okay. is what we do and we take that and for about take about an hour and we get the stem cells out of it and we can then give that back in any number of manners so we're doing quite a bit on orthopedic uh, conditions like arthritis and having really nice results okay real and let's talk about the orthopedic problems like arthritis because so many people suffer from that I know you've done some work with knees and other joints too Talk about the positive yeah, results we're, you're we're seeing. We're still talking about lo small numbers of long-term data, but there are a lot of folks that can avoid having knee surgery or knee replacement by doing this type of procedure. Yeah. And we're seeing more and more uh, improvement. Still investigational, still small numbers, but really, really exciting. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the orthopedic problems and arthritis. Any other areas you're seeing good measures? Well, the other area that I think we're seeing really remarkable results are with the neuropathies. Uh, Peripheral neuropathies have historically been really hard to do much about. Sometimes you could mask their pain, but it's been very hard to restore function. And we're actually seeing real improvement in pain and a restored function. We're seeing really good jobs with a condition called trigeminal neuralgia, where you get fa severe facial pain. And mm -hmm. we've been able to calm that down. So there are some real neurologic applications that are really exciting. Okay, so like you said, it's still investigational, still early days, but all of the uh, indicators are that this is going to be a really great innovation. Yeah, we, we've, we've still uh, are working on trying to understand exactly the best way to do it, and mm -hmm. we're trying to keep really collect really good data so we can get better and better about it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's investigation. Okay, so the big question is, does insurance cover stem cell well, therapy? That's a, that's a real important question, and no, it doesn't. Right now, it is investigational, okay. and so insurance companies aren't covering it. It's, it's a patient-paid cash business. Okay, so you got to call for more information and see if you're a good candidate. Dr. J, always good to see you. Thank you for being here, and you can learn much more about stem cells and how they work at innovationstemcellcenter.com. You can also call this number, 214-699-6948, and we will be right back.